And another South Korean team on the ice now, Lee Ho Jung and Richard Kangen Kong. Two-time national silver medalists from South Korea. They don't have a whole lot of international experience. They were at Four Continents last year where they placed 10th. When you were here before, couldn't look you in the eye. You're just like an angel. Your skin makes me cry. You flow like a feather in a beautiful world. I wish I was special. You're so very special. Getting to a very interesting rendition of Creep by Radiohead. And not something that I, I have ever heard before, but I have to say I, I'm, I'm intrigued. I like this choice of music for these guys. You can see their youth coming through as they sort of think through their turns, think through their steps. I would say that they, they really do have a, a nice quality to their skating. Um, they just have to sort of mature into it a little bit more. sequence that's going to unfortunately really bring down their technical score. Ice dance is so unforgiving. You know, it, it seems you can't make one single mistake. Absolutely. Yeah, that is the case. You really, if you want to, if you want to live up to your own expectations in terms of scores and placement, you cannot afford to make any mistakes. And, and that's something that it really takes a toll on you mentally and, and physically going into competitions, knowing that there's just no room for error. And of course, mistakes are going to be made. Figure skating is hard. And, and so you have to be able to deal with that just, just as well. And, and I think these guys have done a nice job in this program of recovering after that mistake. And, and, and they know what it what it means um, to have fallen on a twizzle sequence like that. So to, to maintain their commitment and energy throughout the end, there is it's a it's a good sign for their futures, I think. But obvious disappointment. They were both accomplished single skaters. She was the national junior champion in 2011. He was the national junior champion in 2014. their third season together and speaking from experience just being able to draw from being comfortable skating by yourself i uh, both meryl and myself had singles careers and i think it just lends itself to being more comfortable when you try to take on the task of being an ice dance team however these guys are still relatively new to the game and and so i think i would expect them to to grow into just the, the difficulties that are presented in being an ice dance team, and that's being able to use one another for for comfort, for strength, um, to, to to help you when you know you're feeling a little bit uncomfortable. But you know when you're when you're in the middle of those twizzles, it really is all on you. So they'll have to just get that worked out and, and keep working on it because that's something that it doesn't get easier for any of the dance teams. Those twizzle sequence. And you don't know the emotions that are going through these South Korean teams' minds, you know, as they're getting ready, looking forward. So impossible not to look ahead to the Olympics and thinking, jeez, I'm on the Olympic ice right now. Absolutely. Um, I would think that mentally that that is a tough challenge as well, to not be looking past what you're doing right yeah, now. Yeah, and especially for a young team that just doesn't have the experience, you know, they, they sure, they, they have done one four comments before, but really there's they're still mostly a junior team, and, 
and that just you have to grow with your experience and sometimes um, you have to make mistakes the hard way and, and, and really learn from 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 difficult situations and, and you know they're not going to be happy with with this skate but that doesn't mean that they can't take the, the enthusiasm and take it into the free dance. Well, and their personalities were shining through at the very least. So it'll put them in fifth place for the time being. Third group coming up featuring 